Hey Aquariuses, it's Sunny. And this is your love reading for November 2016. Hopefully you guys can enjoy your loved ones during this time. Keep in mind, oh loud, loud. Okay, this card popped out. I'm going to show you guys. Forgiving and learning. Come on camera, focus. As you release, sorry it's not focusing. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present in your present moments. So I do feel like this is going to be a really big message for you guys to just learn to forgive people, don't hold grudges, and you know, pretend as if you were going to die tomorrow. I'm pretty sure many of you will want to be happy you're going to make you know that day the best day of your life you're going to tell everybody hey i'm going to miss you you know i'm sorry that this happened i don't want to end on bad terms so just see every day like that because you never know when people are going to die you never know when you're going to stop talking to somebody so stop holding grudges let it be what it is even if they hurt you to the core honey they hurt you to the core. I'm thinking about that. If you watch Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, where Mimi uh, was talking to Stevie, she was like, you hurt me to the core. That's what I was thinking about. So even if that person hurts you to the core, just let it go. Just let it go. It is what it is. So first, oh yeah. Watch your rising, your sun, your moon, and your Venus sign. Uh, for more accuracy, okay. These are general readings that may not resonate with you. It'll be all right. Some people like watching their Venus in regards to their love life, so who knows? My Venus is in a crisis, so I like it. I think it's pretty cool. But let's see what's going on for you guys. First, I'm going to do a general reading for everybody, regardless of what's going on. Um, within your relationship status so these are important messages and then after that I'm going to do um, separate readings for single slash mingling taken and Aquarius who are married so let's see what's going on I feel for some of you you have the ability to paint the type of relationship that you want it's just okay it's going back to that forgiving and learning many of you may uh be may, uh, many of you may be presented with the love of a lifetime and i feel you know some of you are kind of dealing with you know you're dealing with a broken heart you're dealing with trust issues and you don't really want to get hurt again so i feel for some of you you're coming off really defensive maybe if you're single or if you're dating somebody and this may cause a lot of strife with your love life because you're coming to situations with a damaged heart okay these two people they didn't break your heart they weren't that person who cheated on you 10 years ago 10 months ago okay um you know it, it's sad it's sad but we go through lessons and we just have to learn from them that song by alicia keys i i'm gonna find a way to make it without you tonight god oh, i'll type it below because i don't want to sing <laughs> so i do feel for you guys Okay, never mind. I feel like this is going to be a very interesting month in regards to you guys' love life. I do feel like you guys have to be careful of you forcing something to happen. There may be talks of marriage or you're trying to get out of a marriage. Please, it, when it comes to y'all getting to know people, please make sure you aren't mistaking lust for love. Okay, because I feel for a lot of you, it's like when you get to like when you first start talking to somebody, like passion is there, like you into the person. It's something new. Okay, so be careful of you getting wrapped up into something new because once the smoke fades away, you have to see this person for who they are. Okay, negative traits, annoying traits. Are you able to deal with this person? in the long run do you want something serious with this person please know if this person wants something serious with you because i do feel for some of you you are in a situation where 
you aren't really thinking clearly and I don't I don't want to see nobody get hurt due to them not understanding the signs and really not taking the time to get to know the person understand what they want understand their goals like you guys if you like really want a relationship because a lot of my clientele are Aquariuses believe it or not and when it comes to majority of you guys it's love life it's just like do they love me do they want me um it's just it's very similar to those questions and I feel and what I see from you guys is like you don't really take the time to get to know the person you don't take the time to express how you truly feel okay um i've dealt with a lot of aquariuses believe it or not my mommy is an aquariuses <laughs> and like i said my venus is in aquariuses so i understand okay i understand um but this month is going to allow for you guys to get better i'm picking up the phrase as wine, you get better within time. So that's just what you guys are going through. I do feel like the focus is going to be on finances and career. And you guys just want to make a name for yourself in regards to um, your finances. I do feel for some of you, you need, to, you need to keep an open mind. Whether you are dating people or you are in a relationship. Um, understand once again where this person is coming from. I do feel like you guys need to be careful of you being so judgmental. So I hate to say in regards to the type of person that you want i do feel for some of you no offense some of you may be a bit shallow this month or you are attracting a lot of people who are shallow as well but i do feel for some of you you're you're going to walk away from people who are shallow like that some of you are definitely looking some of you honestly just want more money i feel like with with um with relationships some of you don't mind dating around because I feel like there's opportunities for you guys to expand your finances. But I do feel for some of you like you really want a legit relationship. Please take this time to uh, heal and deal from family. Family matters, honey. Please. Some of you need to escape from a very toxic relationship. Or you need to escape from routine. And that's really interesting because for you guys reading, I talked about you guys getting out of routine. Okay, so get out of the routine of your dating life. Get out of the routine of eating habits like... Just do something new. Keep an open mind. Expand your knowledge and see where that goes. So, Aquariuses who are single for November 2016. Give me five cards. What's going on for Aquariuses who are single? Alright. So, some of you may be dealing with a cancer during this time. Or you need to work on your communication. I do feel for some of you, you may meet somebody through the internet or through your job um when it comes to internet love <laughs> that song computer love is playing in my head i feel like you guys need to be a bit careful um because it can it can become kind of i don't really want to say fake but it can become like kind of fantasy like i, I i'm just gonna say just fantasy like and you guys may get caught in this long distance weird relationship. So please be careful of you doing this. I am picking up that there's going to be some lessons learned and some sort of conflict in regards to um, internet love. <laughs> um, or in regards to communication. Some of you may be dealing with a Virgo during this time. And this may be their sun, their moon, and their rising. I'm hearing the phrase, two wrongs don't make a right. So be careful of you doing something just to get back at somebody else as that's not going to be good. Some of you are definitely looking for revenge. I do feel for some of you, uh, this is going to be a really good time for you to understand what your partner wants or what you seek from a partner. But some of you, like you're just focusing on getting ahead within school or career. So finances are going to pick up for many of you. I do feel for some of you, you're putting yourself first in regards to relationship. And I feel like once you do this, honestly, windfall is going to come in. You can take that how you want to. Some of you, your love life will get better in the springtime. So I do feel for some of you, you may find somebody, but once again, it may be through the internet or this may be long distance and this may cause a lot of conflict within you guys' schedule because you're going to have to set, I'm picking up set a reminder. Maybe you need to set a reminder for when you go out on dates. Maybe you have a lot of dates and you have to like schedule it in your phone. Like, yeah, I go on a date 
Friday at 8 o'clock. Then I go on another date uh, Saturday at 6. So you guys are going to be really, really busy. Okay? Either you're busy with work or you're busy with people who you are meeting. But I do feel for some of you traveling is in the cards. And also some of you may find somebody that's like love at first sight. But please, once again, be careful. Be careful of you mistaking lust for love. So I am picking up that many of you, you're definitely traveling. Some of you are really interested in somebody. And somebody is interested in you. But I do feel, you know, you need to be careful of this being a distraction. Because I am picking up for some reason something is too good to be true. And you can take that how you want to. Like maybe you feel like, oh my god, I met my soulmate. Or you're kind of suspicious with something. Whatever the case may be, you know, if you're happy, you're happy. But just make sure you take things slow. Honestly, this card popped out. Trust your intuition. Pay attention to your dreams in regards to this person. I do feel like this person, I hate to say, they may make themselves bigger than what they are. Be careful of you being catfish, even though it's 2016. People are still catfishing nowadays, okay? Or be careful of you talking to somebody who's making themselves bigger than what they are. Um, maybe, you know, they're claiming that they have a big house, they have a great job, but like when you go out to meet them, like their house is raggedy or they're living with their parents or some of you may even be talking to like a drug addict i hate to say or somebody who's really really crazy so i do feel like you know some of you there's going to be some lessons learned in regards to you talking to somebody via internet some of you also may find love on the job and that may kind of be and that may be weird for some aquariuses who are in relationships for November 2016, give me five cards. What's going on for Aquariuses who are in a relationship for November 2016? So I am thinking up that some of you are kind of bored with your relationship or you really aren't listening to your partner during this time. I do feel like new... New insight wants to come in and you can take that how you want to, to better the relationship. But some of you are just either you're stuck in your ways or you're stuck in how this relationship is going. And you guys need to add something new. I feel like it's going to be up to you to spice up the relationship. So I am picking up that many of you, there's going to be some issues in regards to feeling judged by your partner or your partner is feeling judged by you some of you are paying more attention to career during this time please be careful of you not listening to your partner so some of you may be dealing with a gemini uh this may be their sun their moon and or their rising or they have strong gemini in their chart i do feel like you guys need to spice up the relationship and you need to add more just i, I keep picking up like more options into the relationship please be careful of the ex coming back or either you or your partner wants to have a threesome be careful about that I, I do feel for some of you, there's going to be some issues in regards to temptation. So, relationships may be kind of fragile for you guys for uh, this month. I do feel like something happened in August that may pop up in November. Whether this is something good or something negative, it just depends. Because I kept hearing August, August, August. Or maybe there's somebody who's a Leo or um a virgo that may try to mess up the relationship who knows um but i do feel for some of you you definitely need to be the bigger person in regards to you guys' love life some of you may be dealing with the torres or a libra i do feel like you guys need to spend more time with your partner and you need to appreciate your partner more i do feel for some of you you definitely need to be more sexy like add costumes like role play <laughs> with your partner some of you may be dealing with the fire sign or water sign cancer pisces and scorpio uh aries leo sagittarius i do feel like there that there may be talks of engagements or moving in with each other but i feel like honestly you guys are just kind of bored and stuck in the routine of the relationship and you need to just spice things up that's what i'm picking up yeah there needs to be something new for you guys please be careful of um you guys facing the consequences within something and you can say that how you want to Aquarius who are married for November 2016. Married Aquarius, give me five cards. Come on, cards. Give me five cards. What's going on, Aquarius? So, 
so i am picking up that there may be some conflict in regards to somebody's temper like <sighs> there may be some fights uh during this time but i feel like they can be prevented so some of you definitely need to heal the relationship i feel like this is really beautiful okay this is really pretty so you guys received the tower and then right after that came the star and i find it really interesting because it's like a sequel first there was destruction there was sadness and there was a lot of fire but once the smoke cleared you saw the beauty within the downfall so I do feel like, you know, maybe some of you went through a very hard time and now you're seeing the beauty within something. Some of you, I do feel like if you've gotten out of a, like if you're separated, maybe you are starting a new relationship with somebody and, and this person is just like totally different from what you had before. But take this time to heal uh, with you and your partner i do feel for some of you you kind of feel as if you have to handle everything on your own i do feel like there's going to be some sort of trust issues in regards to marriages during this time and i feel for my crisis you guys feel as if everything is falling back upon you i do feel like if you want to keep it going you guys are going to have to fight your way through this marriage so i do feel like there's going to be some issues in regards to opinions rather this is the opinions of your partner the opinions of yourself or outside opinions <laughs> Some of you may be dealing with somebody who's just really bipolar and you just can't get it to work. Some of you are just together or you're with your partner either because they are not fronting. Maybe some of you are fronting that you're happy or like when you go to family gatherings, you're, you know, you're happy, you're smiling. But like when you go home, your partner leaves you at home, they are out doing whatever they want to do and you're lonely. I feel like there's some issues with you guys painting this picture for everybody else. Like you're happy, but in reality, you're not. But some of you may be saying with your partner because they're taking care of you or... <sighs> No disrespect. Some of you are just kind of with your partner due to life insurance. These are general readings and they may not resonate with you, okay? But some of you, like, you want to make this work because you are very serious with your vows. And, like, when you said I do, you really meant that. I feel for some of you, like, you want to... You just, you just want to be happy with your partner. Like, you want the family. You want the dog. Like, you, you want the sun, the moon, the stars with your partner. But I feel like you guys are just honestly going to have to do what's best for you. Some of you need to end this shit. I hate to say. Some of you are in a situation, yeah, you need to move on. And I do feel like, you know, this may be kind of hard. Some of you are kind of wishing for better days. But it's kind of like you are obsessing over it too much. And I do feel like uh, you guys need to speak up. You definitely need to speak up. Some of you may be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And this may be their sun, their moon, and or their rising. And it's just like you are getting through to this person. And it sucks. And I feel for some of you, like, the relation, the feelings that this person has had for you, or vice versa, has died. But you're still dealing with this person. However, if this is not the case, and you are with the water sign, and you're very happy with them, I do feel like you guys honestly need to stop worrying so much. And just truly talk to your partner. I do feel for some of you, there is some sort of financial issues. Some of you need to realize, like, if you want to make this work, if you want to renew your vows, if you want to call it quits. I feel a lot of you, like, you, that maybe talks to separation. And you need to just free yourself from this drama. So, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Good luck with everything. And I should be back for December. Bye.